its citizens and to, to enforce the, its, uh, to force its citizens to conform to the to the law, or basically to go out and sanction them, uh, penalize them when they go outside of the legal framework. Now, with suicide in, let's say, Great Britain, if this is Great Britain, or any given state, we can go, when a suicide was committed, we can go and we can check how this has happened. And if we find that somebody has killed that person, which is against the law, we're going to prosecute that person to the full extent of the law. What we're saying is, if that is our duty as a state, because we have passed legislature that says so, it is also our duty to prosecute those who went out of their way to help a person to kill themselves in a foreign country. And this is where the opposition's last point of rebuttal uh, stands, is this jurisdiction issue. Yes. First of all, we have extradition. Second of all, these people who have helped somebody will probably come back because they're not going to be willing to live a life of exile because they drove somebody to Switzerland. Third of all, you say a person has proven its ultimate will to commit suicide by buying a ticket to Switzerland because that's so expensive and such a hard thing to do. Usually what happens in these uh, cases of assisted suicide, the person is incapable of physically doing so, what we as the state are going to do is going to prevent a possible abuse of me buying a ticket to Switzerland for my very rich and very uh, unfunctional my grandmother, taking her there, having her suicided or murdered in this case of abuse, <laughs> inheriting her money, and basically, according to the opposition, I'm not going to be prosecuted because my grandmother clearly wanted to kill herself of her own free will because I bought a ticket for her. We're saying that's not that's not an argument that proves to us that this person really wanted to commit suicide in the first place. We're talking about assisted suicides. They're assisted because these people can't do it by themselves. Um, okay, so. It is the role of the state to protect its citizens, as I said. It is the role of the state to enforce its legislature, as I said. It is the, it is the right of the state to demand extradition, which is there are clearly precedents for that. We get people who killed people abroad to come back to our system of courts and be prosecuted in our courts before the crime of murder. So precedent clearly exists. What we also have to do why we have to be so strong with this enforcement when assisted suicide happens abroad is because we send a very murky signal to society as a whole if we don't prosecute to the full extent of the law. Because what do we say to society? We say, okay, we as a state care about the right of life, we, we care about the right of choice, we care about protecting our citizens, but only within certain geographical boundaries. In this world of, 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 of globalization, in this world of easy travel, it is the role of the state to protect the citizens everywhere. That's why we're proud to propose. Thank you.